Gina. Do we have any time in the schedule to fit in a manicure? some stuff around and make sure that there is time. Yeah, I really need a pedicure, like, so bad. I'm so stressed out right now. You have no idea how stressed out I am. Do you know what this has done to me? Look at my forehead wrinkle. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Kim. Well, thank you for coming on such short notice. Um, as you know, I... Uh, there has been a bit of a scandal in my family uh, lately. Well, recently anyway. Uh, yeah, there's always a scandal, but this one is kind of huge. It's kind of huge. It's involving two of my family members, and therefore it's involving all of us. Because, you know, you touch one of us, you touch all of us. But as soon as you touch two of us at the same time, it's like game over, you know? So, um, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that um, my baby sister, Kylie's uh, friend, best friend, Jordan, Jordan Woods, recently did something extremely atrocious. Um, we won't get into what she did, but let's just say uh, cancelled. Just saying so. But um, anyway, um, you know, it's just, it's horrible, it's horrible. Yeah, I know. Okay, so you have her. We won't get into that. Um, apparently, people in my family um, don't know how to do anything. They don't even know how to choose a best friend, right? So, I have to do everything myself, like always. You know, if you want something done right, you do it yourself. So, basically, I've taken it upon myself to put out a little announcement. Oh, yeah, that's my assistant, Georgina. She is fantastic. You spoke with her on the phone, right? So, what I'm doing is basically I'm hosting some interviews. Um, basically, what I want to do is I want to find my baby sister, Kylie, a new best friend. Um, the reason being is that, um, like I said, no one in my family knows how to do anything. I have to do I'm doing a little bit of, you know, recon and just, you know, under the radar stuff. But basically, um, you know, we're always filming, keeping up, um, and life is just so busy. And my poor baby sister, my poor baby sister Kylie, um, she has to like hold her own cell phone when she's doing promo shots and stuff on um, Instagram. Snapchat, and that's just not okay. She needs a new bestie. Um, Jordan was that for her for many years. It's great and everything, but um, now she's no longer in the picture. So, what I'm doing is I'm just, you know, I'm screening a couple of people that I think would be great to. 
to fill in that role. But before I do that, I have to ask you, of course, some questions and just go, to, go um, through some basic things with you, of course. Okay? Wonderful. So before we get started, I'm going to just jot down a couple of notes in my notebook because I just think, I just think it's really important to get all of the details in um, beforehand. That way, when we are formulating a contract for you, that you can sign with these and I can sign with these, knowing that um, in case you end up being a complete and total lie, that I have a formal contract that that will be written up, stating that everything that you claim today is true. And just in case you end up backstabbing us or pulling a Jordan, as we'd like to say now, um, that you will be, um, there will be re repercussions for that, of course, you know, but I'm sure everything will be just fine and you won't do anything, you know, stupid or crazy, so, yeah, you have, like, this aura, I feel like I'm really good at judging people, yeah, I feel like really good vibes from you right now, so, plus the last, like, ten people that here to take a picture with me, like, hold my hand, take photos, and you haven't pulled out your cell phone even once throughout this entire, um, conversation. So, I'm assuming that you, you're an upstanding, you know, just a good person. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, fingers crossed. Maybe 11th time's the charm, right? I was just looking at some pamphlets because we are going to um, Italy for Fashion Week, so I was just looking through some things um, just to make sure that I know what to pack and I know what's expected of me. I told you I'm like a really good like um, management, you know, like a just good manager and everything. I think I got that from my mom. Like I'm really good at you know just organizing myself, knowing what to look for, information and things like that. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. <laughs> just the Alright, so let's open up to a clean page here. Wonderful. Okay. So Alright, can you please give me your name? I would like someone to be a little bit more mature around this sort of situation, right? I know Kylie is young, but I need, like, a mature adult to not supervise, but just, you know, be a more of, like, a... someone you can count on type of figure, right? Okay, good. Wonderful. So, that means that your star sign is... Good, you know it. You're not like an astrology, like, freak or something, you know? Okay, good. You're not gonna, like, start going around the house and, like, reading people's auras or, like, you know, palm reading or whatever it's called, Ricky or whatever. No? Okay, good. Good. Yeah, we don't like our, um, energies to be affected by people, and that's why we had, like, really bad experiences with that. So. Okay, so... Not a freak. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so can I have your email address or um, best method of contact? Okay. When was the last time that you were measured? Like your height? Do you know your height? Okay. Could I have it, please? 
Mm -hmm. Good, good. Yes, essentially we would like someone to be just a little bit taller than Kylie, just so that she could look like more innocent beside them in pictures and things like that. Also because she tends to wear heels and so we'd like to make sure that that's all compatible, you know. Okay, good. Simpatico. <laughs> Okay, and do you have any food allergies? Mm hmm Okay. We tend to host a lot of parties, that's why. And, you know, sometimes it can just be a little bit, um, you know, kind of annoying just a little bit. If someone is, you know, allergic to something, then we have to do a menu or whatever, so it's good that you don't have anything like too crazy. I know. Someone last year was like allergic to gluten or whatever. Like gluten? Seriously? That's so 2017. Ugh. I know. Right? See, we get along. That's what I like about you. You understand? Is this your natural hair color? May I? Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm Oh, okay. Okay. That's good. Are you comfortable at all with wearing wigs? Okay, good. Oh, don't worry, we would teach you everything that you need to know about that. Um, are you wearing any makeup today? May I come up close? Where we would essentially assign you a, um, a makeup artist. We know a couple of really good ones, uh, of course. Mario really likes to do mine, but we could definitely look for someone that can um, do yours if you like. Fairly, fairly, fairly um, nice complexion, so I'll write that down. It'll be easier to find your makeup artist that way. And let's see, your eyebrows do need a little bit of work, but we can definitely work with that. It's always better to have more eyebrow to pluck away rather than have no eyebrow. Your lips are nice, but they could use with a little bit of plumping, so I can definitely schedule in with a friend of mine for that. Your nose is quite nice, but if you ever do decide to get a nose job,
Can I please see your hands? Hmm. Not bad, but you do need a manicure. Desperate need of manicure. Manicure. Do you have your ears pierced at all? Would you be willing to get your nose pierced? That would definitely make you look edgier than Kylie. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't hurt at all. Just a pinch. Okay, good. Alright. A team player. That's what I like to see. Okay, fabulous. Now that I have all of the information that I got, that I want from you, here, I'm going to quickly take your measurements and pop them onto my sheet of paper. This is just so that we can expedite the process in case you need to go under and do some surgery or something, you know, just um, cosmetically speaking. Okay? Wonderful. Alright, so here is a measuring tape. It's very bendy. It's very, very, very soft. Okay. It's not going to hurt you. It's kind of like as thin as paper, so it's great just to get around. So we're going to go ahead and measure your nose first because I think that's the first thing we would want to tackle if you were to ever be, of course, selected. So I'm going to have to talk to my expert for that and um, they will obviously get back to you and tell you what is perfect for you. But you know, I've done this so many times that I practically like It's not bad. Not bad. 
Isn't so bad. All right. So next, thank you. I'm going to be taking a couple of photos of you. Georgina is getting my professional. about it, but I'm really good at handling camera. I spent um, basically my entire life in front of a camera, so I'm really, really good at it. Anyway, okay, great. So I'm going to take a couple of different photos of you. Firstly, um, just um, straight ahead, then side to side, and a couple different angles. Okay, great. Okay. very good at posing. So I think we can really work with you with this. Beautiful. Okay, perfect. That's all we need. No, 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 you did great. It's just that the lighting here is a little bit too harsh and I don't want you to come off in a horrible light. But the couple 
photos that I took of you were really good. If we do end up choosing you, you will get to have a photo shoot done. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just, I'll leave this here, okay? Okay, good. Great. Um, lastly, what I need to, to do is just something that you might think is a bit silly, but I think it's really rather important. Um, Georgina, could I please use your phone? Mine is dead. Yeah, North was playing with it for like five hours yesterday and she just like totally drained the battery. I know. Okay, so. Um, let's see. There are a couple things that I want to show you and I just want your honest opinion and honest reaction. Do you find this man to be attractive? Honest answer. Mm hmm mm hmm Yeah, that's my Kanye. Good. Alright. Alright, now look again, okay? Tell me if he asked you. Would you kiss him? If this face came up to you at a party and said, Would you kiss me? And then leaned in, would you kiss him? Well, let's roleplay. Hello. Would you kiss me? Please. I want to kiss you. Hmm? No? one is slightly irresist irresistible, so um, I wouldn't blame you if you just, you know, fainted from how cute he is, but um, how about now? Would you kiss him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like never ever. That's a really good answer. But of course, everyone says that they're loyal until they're just not one day, you know, out of the blue, so it all depends, I guess. It's really hard to trust people here. I know. Okay, how about this man? Do you find him attractive at all? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, that is Travis. Attractive. Okay. Like, not at all? Hmm. Okay. What about... Here. Let's zoom in. Do you find him attractive? This look right here. Do you find that face attractive at all? Let's zoom in. What do you think? Not at all. Not whatsoever. Okay. You can be honest with me. Just getting your honest reaction. about here. Is this attractive? Let's zoom in. Do you think he has really nice features? Would you kiss him if, if he asked you to kiss him? No? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
might think this is a bit overprotective, but I'm just doing the big sister thing, so... Okay. Do you think this man is attractive? Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. That is Tristan. How about here? Do you think that he is attractive? Would you kiss him if he asked you to kiss him? Okay. You are aware that he has two babies from two different women, right? Okay. And he's cheated on both of them. Okay. So, say he comes up to you at a party and wants you to make out with him or something, would you? Okay. Good answer. Okay. Good answer. Good. I love that sassiness and that um, honesty. Good. Okay. Okay, now look at his dimples. Look how cute. Would you still kiss him if he asked you to? Okay. That's good. Alright. Now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What about? What about? What about Scott? They're like actual honest reactions, so that's good. What about in in this photo? Still no. Are you sure? Look closely into his beautiful blue eyes. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Georgina. Thank you so much. Okay. Wonderful. So, that was the entire interview. Um, thank you so much for coming today and for, you know, being interested in being Kylie Jenner's new best friend. Um, I will be in contact with you within the following week, I'm thinking, more or less. And, um, and that's pretty much it. Um, if there are any changes or anything like that, and if we need to have you come in for a second interview, I will let you know as well. We'll turn you know. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. So, thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much for coming today and for uh, being here and just um, for your honesty and Okay, well, I'll see you soon then. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye now. <laughs>